Hey guys, welcome back to another round of War Robots with Stupendous. So we're dropping in with a few subscriber requests here. So um, let's, we're going to start with uh, with Cuckoo and we're going to go straight into center. That was amazing. <laughs> Tripped on, you know, a couple pebbles back there. That was great. That's like, <laughs> that's like the only thing that balances this bot is that it can't go down hills like for anything. Like even if it had like a sled, I'm pretty sure it just wouldn't be able to handle it. So anyway, yeah, with this one, not expecting it. Like in Valley, pretty often... Uh, like I, I dash into center because I want center and I don't really care that I lose this bot very fast. Um, I, I mean, I could have tried backing off and stuff like that, but I don't know. To me, I, I think having center is worth it. My ears are like bleeding because this is so loud. <laughs> Let me just turn that down a second. So I'm just waiting for that guy to move in, the guy that's moving in towards center, so that I can blast his face off. There we go. Okay, so this uh, this request right here, this is one of the requests. This one comes from someone I I don't know how to say your name, um, because your your uh, YouTube or, or Google username profile dealio is just like a whole bunch of like numbers and letters. But if you're seeing this, you know who you are. So uh, the Natasha with thunders and pinatas on Beacon Rush was the request, and so here we go. So with this one, uh, oh, I just. <laughs> So, <laughs> yes, <clears throat> listen to stupid. <laughs> oh, that was ridiculous. Be mindful of your surroundings, always. <laughs> that was so dumb. Anyway, so with that one, like, if you're on Beacon Rush with it, basically you save it until you can spawn on top of somebody. I mean, it's the same thing with, like, the Fury Thunders. Like, if you're running it on Beacon Rush or really, like, any, any game mode, like, if, if you're on Domination, like, you have to play it safe. Or, you know, move in with someone who can protect you with a shield or, or whatever. There's, you know, there's different ways to run it. But basically with that one on Beacon Rush, like if, if you're using it for that purpose, use it to spawn in on top of people. Now, it might be a little bit different at your level of play. I'm not sure if you're playing Champion or if you're playing like like Bronze 3 or something like that. I don't know. If you're playing down there, then you have some more versatility because everything is slow at that level of play. But if you're playing in like especially... Probably, I would say, like, gold one plus. You probably want to hang on to that uh, until you can spawn in on somebody's head. So I don't want to kill this guy until I can move in here. I do want to kill this guy. Hopefully he doesn't spawn in while I'm taking this beacon. But I, I we talked about this the other day, too. Like, you need to be a little bit strategic sometimes with um, when you're taking beacons and beacon rush and someone sitting on it. Like, you want to wait to kill them until you're, like, in the beacon zone. <laughs> So that you can turn it without them spawning in on top of you. Kind of like what we were just talking about with the Natasha. Because they could spawn in with a, you know, with a Triple Thunder Fury on top of your Cossack and you're dead. You know? But, anyway, so there's that. But this subscribe request, getting to what we're currently running. And, you know, helping me pay attention to the game more instead of talking about something that's unrelated. This one is for Terrence B, I believe it was. Um, or maybe he was the... Maybe he was the Punisher Griffin one. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm pretty sure he was this, but yeah, he was, he's like, I never see the Ancelot on your channel and, and stuff. He's like, can you, can you run it with Tehran's? I've been thinking about, uh, getting an Ancel soon so I can do that kind of thing. But anyway, yeah, so, so here it is. And I, I've had it in for, uh, for several rounds so far. I, I put it in last night when I couldn't record. I was actually in bed and I couldn't sleep. Um, or well, I was recording, but I wasn't recording commentary and I've, I had a bunch of good rounds and one of them was, uh. It was like a 1.4 million damage round on Canyon with some clan mates. And so I recorded it. I I didn't bother uploading it because a lot of you guys get upset if I... I'm surprised that guy didn't die before. A lot of you guys get upset if I upload something that doesn't have commentary. So, um, And I, I didn't have time to do post-commentary over it. So, But maybe we'll save that one for future. If you guys are interested in seeing that, let me know. Because um, like I said, I did record it. And probably some of you would be interested in it. But if you'd rather me keep going, I usually... The oldest... Like, the oldest footage I ever post is something that's, like, a day or, or two old, um, is what you guys are seeing. So it's not, like, weeks old or anything like that. Let's melt this guy real quick. But anyway, yeah, so the biggest thing with the Ancelot is make sure that you're not playing it like you're invincible. Um, you know, play it knowing your strengths, you know, knowing that you have really good protection. The lag is real. Let's drop the shield real quick. Um, but yeah, knowing that you have uh, physical and energy protection, like definitely play with that, but don't play like you're invincible. That's the biggest problem I see with people running them, is they just charge in thinking they you know own the planet, and then they get owned by the planet <laughs> instead. So yeah, just just keep that in mind when you're running your Ancelot. 
And I mean that that's like the biggest tip. I mean, other than that, just you know, your your firepower power is limited to you know just two medium weapons, which is still pretty good. But you know, realize when you're engaging engaging somebody, you might have to dip back behind cover. You know, just because you have like portable cover of every variety, doesn't mean that you should just stand there and eat it, or you know, stand there and wait for your energy shield to come back after you got dropped. Like, play it more strategically than that. Don't don't play it like uh, <laughs> like a slow plotting something that can do whatever it wants. Let's drop this shield if we can for my teammate here. Oh, he's got Orkins too, so that was perfect. Would have been actually it would have been perfect if I could actually do much to him, but we weren't able to help too much in that regard. Yeah, his shield's all the way back already. All right, let's move this way so the Zeus can't get us here. Um, so this subscriber request comes from a lot of you guys. Like several of you have mentioned that you know you know I like the Punisher Griffin, but like we don't talk about it like every round. And I have talked about it a lot, but yeah, I guess we can we can talk about it again. So basically, let's move over here because yeah, because of that, <laughs> I figured his aphids were coming. He was definitely moving in. He was uh, engaging in attack pattern. Oh, it just got wrecked. But anyway, yeah, so you want to play the Punisher Griffin. Um, oh, that guy's moving towards Beacon A. He's moving towards it. The Cougar stalks a prey. But yeah, play it like it's a mid-range bot until you have the opportunity to take somebody out, basically. All right. She's she's looking through the tall grass at her prey. He's sneaking in, and here she comes. The swift, agile Cougar. Oh, I thought he was he totally didn't notice us at all and he's gonna turn around all the way. <laughs> Wrecked your face, man! <laughs> Poor guy, he's probably like, oh it's gonna be like the dash shaming that I see out there. Like people that have dashes, like people are like shaming them for having dashes. It's kinda of funny. <laughs> But anyway, that poor guy. <laughs> that was a good way to end the round, I think. So anyway, we'll talk more about these bots in the future. Um, we'll get to talking about them more, and, and we'll go through more of the stuff that, like, that's not it, obviously. So uh, anyway, th thanks so much for coming and checking out the video, guys. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you want to see that other round we talked about. And I hope you have an amazing day.